Good evening, family. This is Miss Norma. I hope you had a good day today. Blessing and healing to all of our land. This is our reading for July the 3rd, and it's titled, Let Jesus Navigate Your Route. Our scripture lesson is Psalm 50 and verse 15 from the Old Testament. Let us pray. Abba Father, thank you, Lord, for being able to be here for my YouTube family and friends, TikTok, Facebook, Pinterest, and X, Lord, and wherever else this video is going. I pray, Lord, that you would um, just release the blessing that is needed from this um, reading, Lord. I ask for your continued strength and grace and mercy. You know what each and every one of us needs, Lord. So thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay. Our scripture lesson is Psalm 50 and verse 15. It says, And call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. Not long ago, I headed south on Interstate 95 in the eastern United States. Having traveled to my destination on multiple occasions, I did not feel a need to use the GPS. However, after traveling about 200 miles, I felt impressed to turn it on. Shortly after, a flashing sign appeared. Accident ahead. Lanes closed. I wondered why this information was given so far in advance. Should it not be cleared by the time I arrived? I checked the directions on the screen and they had it readjusted directing me to exit and follow along a detour. I ended the navigation and recentered my time to take me via the route that was familiar to me. By the time I reached the revised exit, the traffic had backed up and I had to use the shoulder to exit. My detour may have taken me 20 or more miles off the original route. But I thank God I have listened to the impression of the Holy Spirit to plug in my GPS and follow the directions. In this life, we will encounter rough spots, obstacles, and barricades that may require detouring. Although unfamiliar, we must not stop. The speed may decrease and the signs directing us on our journey may increase. But be sure to read the signs and follow the instructions. Amen. My GPS was persistent in showing the same information. When I reflect on that persistent message, it, remind, it truly reminds me of God's persistent pursuit of his children. The Lord is not slack, amen, concerning his promises, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, amen. Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Second Peter chapter three and verse nine. And again, that's the New Testament. Satan will use all kinds of distractions to interrupt you on your journey. But know that God's word, that's your GPS, will never fail and will keep you on the path of righteousness. That's Psalms 32, verse 8, and it says this, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. Amen. Not with our eyes, family, with God's eyes. O oh, Abba Father, may we once again refresh our trust in you, our hope in you, our listening ear, Lord, to hear your voice. Lord, as you knock on that door, may we open it, Lord, 
and invite you to come in and sit down, Lord. And Father, you see all the stuff on our plates. You see it. Some of it's old from years ago and some of it's brand new. Some of it, Lord, may be some stuff from somebody else's plate. But Lord, you look at that plate. And when we talk to you about that plate, Abba Father, you will tell us, eat this part, save this for later, or don't eat this at all. But Lord, you are in command of the place in front of us. Abba Father, let us seek you and find you and fellowship with you to get specific instructions with whatever is on our plate today. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Blessing and healing family. This reading was um, touched me in a very special way um, and just made me rethink some of the things that are going on in life, in my own life, and that of people that I love and care about, Lord. So, Father, today and family, let us, let Jesus navigate, navigate our rights, our routes. Thank you, family, for being here tonight. Blessed and healing to all of our land. And remember that the greatest love of all is the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. Good night, family. I love you. This is Miss Loma signing off. Amen.